Plastic Free K Man says hundreds of individuals and businesses have taken its 345 pledge so far, and soon the organization will be launching a 345 pledge for schools. Plastic Free K Man says overwhelmingly it's the youth who are leading the charge towards plastic pollution awareness. K Man 27's Joe Avery reports. The new year is off to a good start for Plastic Free K Man. We grow in every month, it's getting stronger and stronger and more and more volunteers. Founder Claire Hughes says more than 70 volunteers combined to remove more than 900 pounds of trash from East End's Barefoot Beach in the group's first beach clean of 2019. Awareness is really growing on island and globally and, and with that awareness it comes people do want to start to change. And the younger generation are increasingly leading the charge. I want to see the beaches that I grew up in being the same beautiful white beaches that I grew up in, not filled with plastic or filled with trash. 17-year-old Richard Weber is not yet old enough to vote, but he is pressing the plastic pollution issue as Minister of Environment in Youth Parliament. I was tasked with coming up with a bill for our government to debate upon on Commonwealth Day, March 11th, and the debate topic that I've come up is a bill that is actually about the efforts to reduce and regulate the use of single-use plastic bags in our islands. I'm incredibly proud of the students as uh, I see them take initiative at town halls, um, at beach cleans. Um, they are very articulate and well-versed in the problem. In fact, I think that they've motivated a lot of adults to take action. Plastic Free K-Man's education coordinator Bill Lamont says it's encouraging to see the youth taking action. There is a lot of untapped youth momentum going on in the Cayman Islands right now that is very much engaged with this idea of preserving the Caymanian way of life centered around, you know, the ecosystem. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. Plastic Free K Man says it is working with John Gray High School and Prospect Primary School who have set goals of going plastic free in this upcoming year.